So in the process of me trying to show you how to remove the carrot gimbal um, from the Phantom Quadcopter, I accidentally deleted the video. Yes, um, so uh, we're just gonna start from here. Right now, we've, this is a Phantom 1 and it's got a uh, FPV system set up on it. I'm just gonna open it up so that we can get the new uh, <coughs> G3 gimbal from Fayutech on there. Um, I thought I could do it without having to open it up. Um, I actually, actually cut the power cord here. Um, but it turns out that I also need to get in uh, to be able to change out the tilt function wires because they are uh, wired slightly different with different connectors on them. So let's go ahead and jump into that. At this point, I've got the uh, shell uh, off. Uh, well, I've got all the screws undone anyway. But I forgot to take off the phantom blades beforehand. Probably something you want to do beforehand so you don't uh, drop screws on the ground. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so if you look here, um, we've got all kinds of wires. Um, connected to our power supply unit up here. Let me see if I can spin this down here. We've got our GPS uh, wire that connects down here uh, to our compass. Um, <clears throat> you've got the power wire for the gimbal, and then you've also got what is this one? This is the tilt function. So, coming back here, you've got all kinds of wires connected to the uh, power right here, so I'm going to need to unsolder these um, and then resolder the uh, uh, Fayutech gimbals wires onto here, and we'll go from there and I'll show you guys how to build it. All right, first I'm actually going to put the uh, cap back on the Phantom here, and I'm gonna show you how to build the gimbal uh, on the Phantom first here. So let's open up the, the gimbal box itself and take a look and see what we have. Um, this is your Fayotech G3 gimbal. It comes in a nice little uh, box like this, made of metal. Kind of reminds me of uh, AMD's uh, Eight core processors come in a little box like that. Alright, it's the next day, <clears throat> and I finally finished uh, putting the new Fayotech gimbal together. That's the one right here. Um, while doing that, I ran into a couple problems, um, but I finally got them sorted out. Some videos that I was recording of me uh, putting it together were accidentally deleted, so I apologize for that. Um, but I wanted to go over kind of what I ran into. I, I was able to successfully update both of the gimbals. Uh, firmware to the latest firmware, and uh, that went over pretty smoothly. 
Um, the trouble I ran into is with this gimbal, um, when starting it up, the initial tilt that you are that it's at when you start it up is the is um, how do I say this is the tilt that it stays at. So if if I hold it here and and turn the gimbal on, that's where it'll stay. Um, if I you know tilt it at a 45, turn it on after 10 seconds of initialization, that's where it'll stay. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, this gimbal always starts right up um, to, to just looking straight forward. So um, uh, that's that. The other problem I ran into was on my Phantom here, the tilt lever, I've got a 3D printed tilt lever, which goes all the way around 360. Um, and I never noticed, but it can go up beyond um, uh, looking straight ahead, but I've never really noticed that. And so when I put it, put the Phantom gimbal on uh, this Phantom here, this one has the, the built-in little tilt lever not sure if you can see that, but just a little tiny one, and it's really hard to control. It either goes up or down, and you have to use, you know, hairline precision to get it to stay uh, right in the middle. Um, but it does, like I say, wherever you initialize it, it'll stay there until you move the lever, which you might accidentally do. So I'm going to recommend uh, upgrading this lever to a different kind of uh, lever so that it works better. And there's no as far as I know, there's no software that you can change um, change the parameters and things on these uh, gimbals. So it's just kind of what you get is what you get. So um, I stayed up all night until four in the morning trying to talk to um, the people who sold me the gimbal, and they they kind of helped me out and they helped me get the firmware updated. But um, other than that, and there's my conclusion is just. We're gonna have to find a new, a new lever. So anyway, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions or comments, I know the video was a little, um, I don't know, didn't have a whole lot of information, um, just because I lost some video parts as well, accidentally deleting them. Um, so if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Uh, remember to like my uh, stuff if you like it, and subscribe if you like it. So. Uh, thanks, have a good day.